That's your youth sage here, and today is lesson one of how to play your uke, okay? We're gonna talk about some real basic things today, but if you just bought your uke and you don't know how to use it, don't know anything about it, watch this, okay? It's about 11 minutes of gravy, of wonderful ukulele gravy yumminess. Okay, so here we go. Um, the things I'm gonna cover in this lesson are gonna be the anatomy of the ukulele, um, left and right hand technique, and maybe some exercises, some words of wisdom and encouragement and that sort of thing about um, getting to know your ukulele and loving it, okay? So, here we go. So let, let's talk about the parts of the guitar, um, or, or I'm sorry, of the ukulele. Of course, this is the body of the uke. This is the neck. This is called the head or the headstock. These are the tuners, which of course change the pitch of the strings. Um, this is called the nut. This is called the bridge. The string vibrates between the nut and the bridge. These little wires here are called the frets or fret wires, and that's what allow you to change the pitch of the ukulele, okay? Sound hole, that's where the sound resonates inside the chamber and the sound comes out. Um, back, sides, and belly or top. So uh, if you hear people talking about ukuleles and they're talking about like a spruce top and cedar back or cedar sides or something like that, they're talking about this being the top and this being the sides and this being the back. So the different woods and stuff like that give the different, um, different sounds on the ukulele, okay? Um, your tuners, if you've got good tuners, then of course it's gonna stay in tune better. Um, it is a nylon string instrument, so um, nylon strings tend to go out of tune a lot, especially in the beginning. Um, once, they're, once they've had good time to stretch out and that sort of thing, then they're not as bad, um, meaning they, they stay in tune better, okay? Um, I've got my little timer here, so we've got to keep this under 11 minutes. Okay, so that's, that's our anatomy, right, uh, of, of the instrument. Let's talk about left-hand technique, and then we'll talk about right-hand technique. There's three or four little rules that, that are similar to playing guitar on the ukulele. Here they are. Play on your fingertips, or at least in the beginning, when you're learning to play the uke, play directly on your fingertips. This is not your fingertip, that is your fingertip, right? Um, so make sure you play right on the tips of the fingers. Um, this will help you a lot later on when you're playing chords and that sort of thing, and you're trying to um, have all the strings resonate. If you're playing with the pads of your finger, like, say, Guitar Hero or rock band or something like that. Nothing against those, but um, you're always playing like this, right? So you gotta start playing on your fingertips when you're playing the ukulele. So um, that's the first thing. Play on your fingertips. Use all your fingers. God gave you four of them. Five of them if you're lucky like me. Um, but four of them on the front here, right? And um, just make sure you use them all, okay? Don't get lazy, because um, there's gonna be some reasons that you'll want, not for that chord, I don't know what that is, but there you go, that chord right there. You need four fingers, so important to be able to use all your fingers, right? Right. Okay, so that's um, left hand technique. Um, fingertips, all your fingers, play right behind the fret, so if you're playing here, it's better than playing back here. Now. Luckily for us, I'm a guitar player at heart, but luckily for us, on the ukulele, we don't have much room for error here. So we got a real small space to put our fingers. So even if you're playing back here a little bit, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But if you're playing closer to the fret, you're gonna get a better sound, and it's gonna be less fatigue on your, on your fingers, on your hand, okay? Um, okay, that's it, left hand technique. Right hand technique, let's talk about it. It's a little bit different, um, a little bit different than the guitar. Um, you can use a pick. Most uke players will not use a pick and they'll just use their index finger like this. Okay, and um, unlike the guitar where you're playing over the sound hole on the ukulele, you're typically, you know, you're, wherever your hand is resting, which typically tends to be on this part of the neck. So, to strum on the neck is totally natural. You don't have to... Now you, you will get a little bit more sound, a little bit more volume out of playing right here, but it's not that much more, and um, it looks a little awkward to be like, you know, 
Tyrannosaurus Rex might be able to do that, play like that real well, but um, we've got slightly longer arms, scalarly wise. So anyhow, um, right? So here you go, right hand technique. Um, just use your index finger, you can use your thumb. Some people play with their thumb like this. I find that really awkward. Plus, again, I'm a guitar player at heart, so I'm used to holding a pick. So my hand is usually like this when approaching the string. So I find that to be easier. Um, there's also finger picking type stuff that you can do that we'll talk about later. So we'll, we'll talk about that in another lesson. But uh, for this lesson, that's your right hand technique, okay? Not a lot to it. Um, so let's, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna give you an exercise that um, will just kind of get you warmed up. You probably don't have to do this nearly as much as one would have to do on the guitar. Um, the ukulele is, uh, has a much smaller neck and a lot easier to get around. So, um, but this will get you kind of warmed up and if you're don't know a lot of chords and you're just trying to get your fingers used to the instrument, this is a great exercise. So what I want you to do is take your first finger, put it on the first fret of the first string. This is the first string, one, two, three, four. And um, you're going to put your first finger, first fret, first string, and put it right behind that fret and then just pick it, just like that. Okay, and this is going to be your exercise. You're going to go one, second finger on the second fret, two, third finger on third fret, fourth finger on fourth fret. I know you probably won't play it that fast at first, but later on um, you will. So that sort of thing. And you can play it slowly at first, of course. And then work your speed up. And then um, you want to do this across all the strings. So. Um, this is just going to get your fingers limber. It's going to get your hand used to doing this, okay? Um, playing stringed instruments like this is not very natural. Here's why. Let me explain. When I'm picking up, say, an electronic egg, um, then, you know, I'm going to pick it up with typically my thumb and my first finger, possibly my second finger for reinforcement. Or if I'm really trying to hold on to something and keep it from falling, I'm going to palm it like that. And so my pinky and uh, ring finger will come in handy there, okay? But typically, since our thumb is so close in proximity to our first and second finger, then that's the way we pick things up, okay? So third and fourth finger are not very natural for doing that sort of thing, so we gotta train it, okay? And that's why I said it's important to use all your fingers. Um, and that's what this exercise is going to do. Now, if you really want to get the third and fourth fingers working, you can do this exercise and just go three, four, three, four. And you can just go straight up and down. Or, and then two, three if you want. Okay, and take your time with it, okay? Um, a little word, a little word of encouragement when you're learning any instrument, specifically here we're talking about the ukulele. Be encouraged when you're playing. This should be a fun thing. This is not accounting, not that accounting's boring for you accountants out there, because it's very important. It's not my favorite thing, but maybe I did take it three times in college. Big deal. Who's judging, right? So. Playing ukulele or playing your stringed instrument should be fun, okay? So, take your time with it. Just, um, as you're learning, don't be in such a rush. Um, take your time with it and you're going to learn all these concepts, okay? One step at a time. Um, also, know that talent is about 1% of anything. When you see someone playing guitar really well or singing really well, um, you'll find that the people that are less into the arts will say that it has to do with talent. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flaming here from people uh, regarding this video, but a lot of people will say that, uh, that it has to do with talent. And I say to that it has about 99% to do with practicing 
and working hard at something. Whether that's accounting or ukulele or singing, it has everything to do with working hard and being passionate about what you do. So, if you wanna get good at the ukulele, practice it a bunch, study it, do well with it, and you will see success, okay? Um, for those of you that are just born out of the womb playing an instrument or singing, yeah, never happens, then, uh, then good for you. You don't need lessons, so stop watching my video, okay? Love you. All right. Um, okay, that's gonna be it for today. If you haven't already, go to youryukesage.com and uh, there's an ebook there that is a supplement to these videos. It's gonna help you a ton with everything that you're trying to learn about chords, scales, um, theory, songs, all sorts of stuff. Um, so check that out. Go to youryukesage.com and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. See ya.